Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 13, and this is war number 6. We are halfway through the season, and we're going up against an alliance called Agent Orange. Now, this war is a very, very close war. Uh, it's also a war that I could bring my Corvus and Havoc. Just so happens there's a Korg boss. We're going to get a chance to fight him. Uh, there's also a Korg mini boss and we're going to get the chance to fight him as well uh, since alliance quest is down i was able to bring these guys in now you'll notice that there was no defender on that first node on path one but there is a mutant on the next node now in all my other videos you'll notice that i bring gladiator hulk he is by far the best option for that starburst path but I didn't need him this time. And this was a mission for Corvus. As you can see, it's Starburst, but Corvus is not having any problems. All right, so this is my 565 SIG 200 Corvus. I would love to get a six star Corvus because I would bring him to Alliance War most of the time, not all the time, because sometimes there are defenders that uh, he would not uh, benefit from i would say so i would love to get a six star corvus just for the flexibility all right so that was it for section one on to section two i take path two in section two and we've got a couple of interesting fights coming up so we've got emma frost but she's not awakened now if you don't know her awakened ability gives her those reverse controls but if you have fought Emma Frost often, and you're now used to fighting her with reverse controls, this can mess you up. All right, it can catch people. So I have to say in my mind over and over again, she's not awakened, she's not awakened. Now Corvus is awesome for this, because as you saw, when Corvus parries her, he does an armor break, knocks her right out of diamond form, it's all good, all right? Love fighting her with Corvus. When she first came to the contest, I believe I did have a Corvus, but I did not know this. Uh, another one is Captain America Infinity War. He's also quite good if he has the right people on the team. He can parry, do an armor break as well, knock her out of diamond form. All right, so down she went. No problems there. And now we're fighting Thing. Now, I don't have a direct counter to Thing, and this Thing is awakened. And let me explain why that's important. His protection usually is on a cooldown, but when he's awakened, it's going to trigger any time I hit him too hard, which is why you see me going in here with Starkey and I'm not building up my poise charges. All right, so I triggered protection right there, so you can see he's not taking a lot of damage, and I'm not trying to build poise charges here. Uh, building up poise charges would actually be counterproductive in this case. All right, so I'm actually playing him opposite to the way you would normally want to play Starkey. All right, I baited out his special after he got 15 rock charges. That's what you want to do. All right, so you can see here, I'm trying to keep an eye on the charges here. All right, boom, boom, I, I miscalculated right there, almost pushed him to a special three, and he only had 14 rock charges, but we were able to recover. Boy, I was sweating, let me tell you. When I saw that, I was like, oh, that's right. This is empowered immunity. All right, so I was like, okay, no more firing his special two unless he has like no power or I'm about to kill him, like about right now, okay? So this is the only time. There we go, finish him off. That was a close one. I looked at that, I was like, no. Right as I saw his power going up, I was just like, oh man, I just got wrecked, but we made it. So now I'm like, all right, I'm feeling good. Uh, as you can see here, uh, not clear yet. So I had to wait, uh, came back, uh, they had cleared it, but Korg is waiting for me. Of course, they know I have Havoc and I'm gonna be the best option for this Korg. When I looked and did a scouting of the path i saw the korg boss i saw this korg mini and i said definitely going to bring havoc wish i had a havoc 
as a six star. I would definitely have brought him in uh, rather regularly because he would do well on that first mini that I normally have no one to uh, uh, take it with. All right, so I've done a video where I've said Havoc was the best chord counter and I've had people push back on me. They said, no, Omega Red is the best. Okay, it's a matter of preference. They're both excellent, okay? And as you'll see here, the basic strategy is to build up to a special three, get his shield down, and fire it off. That's pretty much it, okay? So you see there, as soon as I had that shield down, um, I looked at the uh, cooldown and I was like, okay, I wanna get that special three off fast. Wasn't quite enough. I did not wait uh, to build up my plasmas or else that would have been a one shot. But I wanted to get that in, hoping that it might finish him off, but it didn't. So no big deal. We just had a little bit of a cleanup uh, to do after the special three. Uh, but if I had played it a little patiently and for example, waited for another shield, uh, you know, to be shattered, it would have been a one shot. Now, this next fight is a power lock one and it's a broken Nightcrawler. Yes, Nightcrawler is broken. He's been broken for a while. Uh, now, here's something interesting, a little behind the scenes. Now, Wally uh, has joined my alliance. He's on this same left side with me. So back in the day, he was the leader of a previous alliance I was in. And I had no end of trouble with Nightcrawler. This was before the Nightcrawler, so-called Nightcrawler trick or anything like that. I had no good counters and he just always wrecked me. I hated him and I hated him so bad that Wally would always come in. People would put in Alliance War uh, Nightcrawler on a stun immune or debuff immune node all the way to the right hand side, that node there, um, it's still debuff immune. And they would always put Nightcrawler there. And anytime I saw a Nightcrawler, he would come in, I had that path, and we would swap so that he would take Nightcrawler. And he is excellent at fighting Nightcrawler. And I said, I wanna fight Nightcrawler and show him I'm a big boy now. You know, show him I've grown a little bit. But as you can see, I'm still getting wrecked because I get impatient. Every once in a while, he would parry me. You know, it's, it's a very annoying fight because he's broken. I don't even bother trying to switch him because he's not going to stay. You know, it's very lucky if you get him, but I was able to get him down without dying. So a win for me. So now I want to kick up my feet and relax, you know, but I was asked, Hey, you think you can go over there and uh, take out that invisible woman? I was like, uh, sure. I'm always up for a fight. I'm not sure what makes her so difficult uh, on that node, but clearly she was giving folks difficulty. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm still boosted. So let's do it. So I said, I'm going to try to boost up. The war at this point is very, very close. Okay. It is really close. I mean, we're talking a few deaths in between. All right. So I said, all right, let me go ahead and boost up. I'm going to use Corvus. So I'm thinking, because I'm not going to use Corvus for that Korg boss. So I said, let me boost up. You can see that I'm, you know, maxed out on, on a number of boosts. I took a little bit too long there. All right. Now, check this out here. I decided to boost up with the Cosmic uh, Power Boost. Now, that would allow me to do back-to-back -back, um, special twos, you know, for the most part, very close. You know, I fire off a special two, and then I'll almost have another special two. But I want you guys to watch this. Now, the only tricky thing about her that I could remember was this. Once she's invisible, you don't want to hit into her. That's all. Now that she has it on cooldown, I can go to town. And look at this, that boost was a waste. Didn't even get a chance to fire off my special two. So now I'm feeling good about myself. I'm like, all right, I did it guys. And they're like, so think you can take that Korg boss? I'm like, um, sure, maybe. 
At this point, I have never fought a Korg boss with my Havoc that I can recall. Uh, never got a one shot. And again, the war is extremely close. So I'm nervous. And I'm like, well, I know Havoc can do it. I am actually the designated Havoc, uh, not Havoc. I'm the designated Korg killer in Alliance Quest for my battle group. I always take the Korgs with Havoc. All right. And he makes the fight pretty easy. All right. So I'm, as you see here, we're talking and I'm sitting there. I'm going, OK, yeah, I should be able to do it. You know, I don't have a whole lot of confidence, even though I've fought him numerous times in Alliance Quest. And I believe I can do it. Now, I want you guys to watch something with the boost. Of course, I'm going to boost up. The war is close. I'm not taking any chances. I do not want to be the reason that we lose this war. So, you know, I have the power boost for um, Cosmic. So I'm like, OK, well, I need one for Mutant. That should help out. So now watch this. I hit replace, right? Look up there. It didn't change. And I didn't notice. And I looked up again and I'm like, OK, maybe I didn't hit it. Maybe it didn't register. So I went back down and it had taken one, as you see. And I went ahead and hit it again. And it still didn't do it. This time I was watching. And so I'm like, OK, let me come out, go back in. There it is. So I wasted one. Not a big deal. It was actually in the store uh, shortly after the war or it might have been during the war. Uh, but when I went back to the store the very next time it had those and I topped off again. So I'm capped out uh, once more on those. So lost, a, you know, wasted one, but not a big deal. And as you can see, I'm looking through and I'm like, what else do I want to do? All right, I want to get some more uh, power on that special. He already does a devastating uh, special attack because you know I'm going to do special threes. All right, I'm running suicides, so he's going to hit hard anyway. You see, I'm boosting up. I'm doing big boy boosts. I am not playing around. Like I said, the war, very, very close. And I do not want to be the reason that we lose this war. All right, so I'm boosted up to the hill um there we go in vulnerability because i don't want to be the reason we lose so this was me going all out okay and once again i forgot to heal up before i boosted i always forget that so yes yes if you leave a comment i know i do it every time but I know better. You always want to heal before you boost or else you waste. All right. Now, here is how I fight Korg. I do not know how to do the light intercept method very well. When I do it, I end up, you know, uh, triggering his uh, unstoppable and all that good stuff. I dex is not pretty. I've seen people do it. And if you can do it, you can beat Korg with pretty much anyone. But I have Havoc. I don't need to do that. And so what I'm going to do, as you see here, I'll just take those hits, like you see there, and evade his specials. As long as you can evade his specials, just bait out those heavies and go to town. Havoc makes this fight pretty easy. Okay, so here we go with the first special three. I definitely wanted to make sure I got that. You guys saw that I got hit once, uh, used up one of the uh, charges. I was like, oh boy, I hope it's not going to be like that. Um, but we still have some left. All right, I'm baiting out again. You see that I'm evading back pretty early so that I don't dex. All right, and so here we go again. His rock shield is back up. I could have went in there, but I was too busy trying to back up. All right, there we go. Pushed him to a special two. His special two is easy to evade. And this time I do dex because when you do and he goes unstoppable, unblockable, he often fires that special two off. So when I have him at a special two, that's when I really want to do that. Uh, that makes it so much easier to bait that special three. So here we go. Another special three. And now I'm feeling good. OK, he's going down. All right. And my health is looking pretty good. All right. So here we go. 
And I don't know if I need another special three at this point. All right. So I'm just like, all right, rock shield is back up. All right. We're getting it down. And of course, each time the rock shield comes down, uh, the cooldown is shorter. So it's easier to get it down. We got to another special three. And he's looking mighty hurt. And here we go with another special three from Havoc. And then... Nope, not enough. Evaded the special one. Hitting him. We got this. We have got this. Our first... Our first, very first one shot. Yes. And Korg is down. I repeat, Korg is down. And that ended my participation in this war. I didn't get MVP, but let's find out how this war turned out. Okay, and we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. It was a close war, very hard fought, but that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, and you all have a blessed day.